Hi, guys. How are you? Hey, you're doing great. Uh, to start, and we can start with Leslie and just go in a, the circle. Um, Westerns are so fun, but we've kind of moved away from them. What element of this film really helped you guys get into the mindset of a Western, whether it be like your costume or the set or whatever it was? I would say it all. I think uh, all of it. The, the The costume was a big part of it. I think that was one of the first elements that I was most excited about, but also um, was so important to like, you know, just feel like, all right, we're, we're really building, building characters here. Um, and Anna was such an incredible, uh, just like she had such a, an incredible creative process. She had sketched all the details out and, you know, talked over every detail with us. So um, in a very short amount of time. Uh, so I think that that one was the biggest part for me to feel like I was in character. And then obviously the elements that we were shooting in hard to not feel enveloped in when you're shooting in, you know, below zero temperatures. <laughs> yeah. Levon, what about you? What is, what was like the thing that made you be like, I'm in a Western. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny. I, I think that oftentimes when we think about what that period of American history was like, we kind of use our imagination. It's been so influenced by the Westerns that a lot of us grew up watching. And this movie to me really isn't, that type of Western, and it is because it's guns and horses, but it's real people in a brutal situation trying to do their best to survive and find love and care about their family and really make this family out of one that isn't there. Um, so for me, it's a Western with all of its mechanics, but at the heart of it, it's a very human story. And that was kind of the thing that grounded me in it was just like having fun, feeling like a cowboy, but then in every scene, working with Leslie and working with Banga and Peter and Juliet, everyone was just so in their bodies and human that that's really what we were doing rather than some like big uh, mustachioed character. Yeah, and Banga, was there was there a moment where you were just kind of like, it, it clicked for you, like the exact vibe that this particular Western was going for? No, I uh, wish I was a I would have <laughs> rolled my horse like this. Um, <laughs> But they, use the finger. They have to CGI out. So yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the 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 horses and the guns made it a western for me, and the cowboys that trained us. Like it's yeah, you know, that the western stories are are so like arch archetypical, archetypical, mm -hmm. archetypes, mm -hmm. um, and and they kind of you know just repeated in so many other genres. So I it's it's fun. You don't get to you go back to like that that kind of, that you know western type it, to be in a western it's not that you don't get that opportunity that much although funny enough i've now since shot another western so i've done back-to-back -back westerns i've never shot them before in my life and now that, but um i i just like getting on the horse and you know and learning how to handle that gun um you know and then going on a mission to me that, that made it feel like a western and i have to say you guys were really great at like looking really confident and doing that in a very short amount of time like i was blown away i was like these guys are ready to shoot shoot some westerns come on well yeah and it ruled and i also i talked to elliot and um he was saying how he filmed in the north pole and it wasn't as cold as when you guys were in calgary so when you guys are contending with the elements uh for whoever wants to answer how is it for you guys pushing back at those elements and having to be like i'm acting but also I'm so cold. I want to just kind of not be here anymore. <laughs> um, that, that was the real thing. I mean, it was just so insane. We, we all froze. froze. There's <laughs> no two ways around it. We all froze. The only thing that could maybe keep me going is that I'm wrapped up as much as I possibly can. And some kind person comes and puts me in a warming coat between scenes. And I'm just looking at these horses. These poor yeah. horses that are just like, they're like with steam coming off their bodies. Like Banga is such a good rider. He's out there like racing through the snow and this the horse itself starts sweating and the sweat just makes it look like a furnace and their whole body is like shrouded in this mist. So really what kept me going was just like how badass the dragon's breath that we all were leaving behind every time we breathed looked. Yes. Oh, I love it. Um, thank you guys so much for talking with me. Before I leave, I do have to say, Leslie, 
all I want in this world is for you to put out a cover of everything I know because that's my favorite song from In the Heights and it oh is my so gosh. like yes I will do this and we will do this you're not you're not alone in that in that feeling I've gotten this before so it's I think I, I think it has to be done soon I think it has oh to be well, thank you guys so much for talking to me I really appreciate it and I can't wait for everyone to get to see the thicket yeah. thank you Rachel thank you guys have a great one